Olympics. That's somewhere I wanted to be my whole life. Olympics are special. Just a big, big event that unites the world. It's a special feeling. And getting to compete with everyone in the world at such a high level is really an amazing experience. First thing in the morning, we can actually walk in the track. You are allowed to walk, but if there's a sled coming by, stand a little further back and spread out so that way no one gets pushed or falls in the track. <laughs> and I signed your lives away. So, my name is Matt McMurray. I am the luge coach here for Team Canada at the 2020 Youth Olympics. So, here in St. Moritz, the track is built uh, different every year. So it's really critical that we do a track walk so that way we can see the length of the corners, the profile of the corners and the radiuses. And then we can look at them to find the optimal line through um, one corner into the next. So that way we can achieve acceleration so we can go faster. So hopefully we can win. So Mono, Bob and Skeleton are going from the top. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so this is all luge here? All luge. All luge all the time. This is closer than last year, eh? Yeah, last year we started, I think, back there a lot more, like more towards the building. Yeah, but it definitely wasn't I'd give it like another three, four meters. Yeah. Go further. Yeah. No, it definitely wasn't further because I... Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. My name is Caitlin Nash. I'm 16 years old and I'm a luge athlete with Team Canada. I really like this track. I'd say it's probably one of my favorite tracks. Um, it's kind of similar to my home track, Whistler. It's fast. Um, I like the natural track design. It's really smooth. It feels like you're floating when you're sliding, which is a really cool experience. Like this, all the corners just down to like Gunter Sachs stayed the same. I like think the lines yeah. are pretty Perfect. consistent. I know Devil, this is, De that's Devil's Dyke, right? Yes. Devil's Dyke, I had lots of problems. Like, the oh, loop yeah, we was couldn't really figure it out. three drives in there. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think many people figured it out without the loop. Yeah, no, we'll get there. My name is Natalie Corliss. I'm 16 years old and I'm a luge athlete with Team Canada. I think this is one of my favorite tracks. It's really like no other track in the world. I know that they rebuild it every single year. There's people that have been working here for over 40 years. So they really know how to make it fast, how to make it smooth. I think that these are probably some of the best track workers in the world because they have done this for so long and they really know how to make it nice. Super fast, super fun. Bridge, leap, leap good to sex. Okay. No, it's bridge, leap. That's not bridge. No, it's tree, tree bridge, bridge, leap, leap good to sex. Yeah. Okay. I think it's going to be really good. The track looks really nice. It's a little bit different from last year, so there's going to be a few things to learn, but I think it's going to be lots of fun. I'm really excited to race with my partner, Natalie, and we're hoping to do well. I really want a podium here this year, and it would be amazing with my family coming out to watch, so that's really the goal. <laughs> that's the eighth time I've almost fallen. Start time, 420, Antonio Kipok. The time for Petra Maria Saria, 398, start 65.30 or two. And your top speed of the big problems, 170. So as you come up, your arms are just like the anchor, like a deadlift. And all you're doing from here, squeezing your butt and coming up with your back. Today, or this morning, is uh, runs four, five, and six for the women's doubles. And the girls are just getting ready to go. I think they're fourth off today. So the nerves are calming. We're getting there. There have been only male to race in doubles. Hello, Morgan. It's progress, and we're really happy about it to get the chance to prove that we as girls can also do that. So I think it's definitely time and it's good for women in sport. Um, I hope I can inspire younger female athletes in the future just by, you know, paving the way for more generations to come. I really 
like working with Caitlin. We were really good friends before we even started sliding doubles together. So it's really good. We have such a good connection going down the track. We really know how to communicate with each other. adrenaline rush that you get when you get to the bottom of the track or just I like going fast in general I like but I like being in control I like feeling fast but in control so when things are getting out of control I don't like the speed anymore <laughs> I just love to go fast different sound than other tracks. You can really hear the speed. The final corners, you can really hear it. It, it sounds like a race car. It's a real, really, really quiet race car going down the track. You can hear the speed really well. I don't think a lot of people will experience the feeling you get when you're going down the track and you feel that force on your body. It's like, yeah, I don't even know how to describe it. I think blues is something that's really helped me in my life. Um, it gave me something to work towards, and I'm really thankful for that. So I, I love blues. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, uh, that cut was better. Uh, Natalie, when you lay down, though, you need to lay down to the right side to keep your weight uh, to the right. Um, how was the rest of the run? I tried to put some straps, but one of them just really loose, so like in Gundersack, and a couple of like the left going corners, um, they're kind of getting tossed around a bit because my straps are really loose, but it's uh, it better. I want to win. I really want to bring home a medal. That's my main goal. I want to bring home a gold medal in singles and doubles. But yeah, I'm hoping to do that by the end of the week. Should we do go back to doing five paddles? Because it gives us a bit more time to let them. I feel like everything's just a bit rushed. Maybe. Just, if do, we five just do five and really lie, down, lie down to the right. And then the cut around felt good. Yeah, I rolled really but good. I think you need to stop rolling a bit sooner because we're still coming out and going straight to the left. Yeah. And then we're hit, and that's okay. not fast. Well, I can just roll, like, just until we pass, like, the big yeah. turn, and then I'll ease off. In the start, you need to roll more. Like, you, well, you guys got to, like, like, you're going straight into the corner, up and down. That's why you're hitting. Okay, really make sure you're back, scissor the sled, almost gutter the whole way around. But we're, the reason I had to do that is because we're on the left side of the ramp, so we're pointed straight at the wall when we go into the corner. Hook it. Even if you're on the left, we can't just up and down. We, you have, we have to fight, okay? This competition is no different than any other race we've been to. It's just got a different title and when we can execute our race plan, we can do what we came here to do. We're fixing our straps, so um, sometimes they can get a bit loose, uh, just depending on some aspects in your sled. We took some weight out, so there's a bit more space between me and the sled and Natalie now, so we just had to tighten those up. How's that? Good? Yeah. We just need to continue to work on consistency now. Definitely we can get a little more time out of the start and a little more time if we build some more speed out of horseshoes, so we should be good. Still nervous, but we're getting better. You prepare it depending on the day, depending on the ice, the weather. Um, the sharper the steel, the more grip you can have, but the slower. So really, you want to find the balance between uh, speed and safety. 
Each sled is custom fit to each athlete at this level, and then each sled is fine-tuned to each athlete's ability. So for the women's double sled, you know, I work with them daily on how does the sled feel, how is it running, how does it sound going down the track, and then we either sharpen the sled or round it out to get it to go faster, sharpen it up for more grip, or leave it be and just polish the runners for maximum speed. I heard a lot. I heard a lot about it yesterday. Okay. Regardless of what you hear or what you guys feel or think is going on in Horseshoe, let it go. Yeah. Okay? Like, it's going to be what it is. It's a tight corner. There's going to be noise. We've got to do the other stuff first. Okay? The, the laying in the sled, the looking at where your straps, where your seating. Okay. I think it really depends on the person. A lot of people have kind of a race day routine that they'll go through. Um, I know I sort of have a routine that I like to make sure I go through every time I prep my sled for a race. Well, I want to do that. I want to learn. So take care of it, and let's go back for lunch, and then we'll come back and we'll deal with all that stuff. Okay. Today's competition day, um, we're trying to make everything kind of similar to training, but I think Natalie and I are both feeling really good. We had solid training here all week. Um, we're feeling pretty confident going into this race. We do our track walk like normal. We're just trying to treat it like any other training day. We really just want to make sure that we feel the same day we do every day, so we perform the same way. I'm pretty nervous because, I mean, it's the Youth Olympics. We had a World Cup here last year, but I'm more nervous than last year because yeah, it's just the feeling is different. Our parents are here. It's Olympic. It's it's special, so we're so excited for it. Yeah. Time to go racing in the Paravon event. Women's doubles with 11 sleds in the field. We survive the break. We're all a little nervous going on right now, but uh, you know things will settle down as we get a little closer time to go. And then uh, it's up to them to do their job. I think Caitlin and I, we really uh, can put down two solid runs, pull a fast start, and I think we will be able to do it. We enter every race trying to win it, so our expectation is high, but we know if we can execute good starts and solid runs, we'll be right where we want to be. I always wanted to go to the Olympics. I didn't know that there was such a thing as the Youth Olympics when I was a kid, um, so I'm really excited that I get to be here and experience it at a young age. Being in a race environment like this really teaches you how to manage stress and anxiety. Um, I think you can apply those skills to other things in life. I think that just helps me grow as a person. Fourth 
Doesn't matter. So you gotta pull through on your paddles like you're hitting straight down. You have, to, like, you have to hit that hard, but then go, not just down, down, and wait for the sled to move. And you have to get the sled to move forward. Okay? You're our horse, okay? Like they've always said, we race like we train, and we train when we race is what I try to teach them. Um, whether we can execute that is a different story, but that's the game plan. You can't have another fourth place. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah. Because Luge, there's not many people in it, you really get to know everyone that's around you. Uh, you really get to make friends with the other teams, so it's really nice to have such a good community of people around you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 I definitely have a race day routine that I'll go through, so I have a specific race day playlist that I like to listen to, um, something that really gets me in the zone. Um, and when I'm sliding doubles with Natalie, I know we have a couple things that we like to do. Is that the start list? Oh, hey, oh, right yeah. We just want thousand to stop at the ah. start. Oh. Yeah. yeah, look at this. Oh my god, that looks so good. Thing ever <laughs> God, I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely gonna do it. It's really good around. Yeah, so. I'm hoping to do it again second round. It's a big step forward for our sport just to include a new discipline. Doubles has always been open to both men and women, but now to have a dedicated category for the women lets them really excel so they don't necessarily have to compete against the men, they can compete against themselves in their own, own sport. Here they come, the Canadian doubles team, 3.71 start time. They're sitting in fourth place after run number one, Caitlin Nash and Natalie Quartz. Their start time for run number one was a 3.689, not quite as quick for run two to 3.71. Racing's two runs in this sport, and pace have two consistent runs, and you move up the ladder. Oh, it's a pretty nice feeling to win that silver medal for them, to get them to that point. 